Hello friends, so I'm back with another review of the Felicity battery and I'm not actually an antagonist of the Felicity, I'm beyond that and the only reason that I'm actually talking about the Felicity battery is because a lot of people come to me during the weekend, stuff like that to ask questions or messages and calls, is it a good battery, is it something that I can buy, okay I have, I, I had someone even message me about the charge controller that he got and stuff like that. So I have a few of some of the reviews that people have had in the past here that I'm just going to share with you. There's even one that um, someone got and um, I was I actually told him, yeah, that's it's a life profile battery and you can actually, it's something that you can actually get. I think that was like a lot last month and he said no problem and eventually he got it he was really skeptical about getting it again. but eventually he did and he told me yes i got the felicity battery and i was like okay yeah, let's see how it works it's experimental and since you have warranty on it you can return it if there's anything wrong with the battery and that was just the conversation we had so i have a couple of um things here that i'll just read out basically so he said um some I, I messaged him to just ask okay what how has the felicity battery been doing and this was his reply he said um trust you're fine good evening the felicity battery and inverter turned out to be a waste of money twice i returned them for now i have abandoned them and concentrated on flooded lead as a battery that are performing very well wow so seeing this message <laughs> i had to jump on this video after i saw this message it was pretty crazy like how like how do you go from a life before battery to flooded battery it's not something that you even want to <laughs> it's not something i would actually be proud about it's not something that yeah, this is not what we push i don't know how it actually got here but it really stunned me seeing this message he had to return twice so that means the first one he might have messed up then he had to return again so he said for instance it's covered with time that the inbuilt charge controller and the inverter does not work and an external one is needed maybe it is the agent or importer's fault i'm likely i'm not likely to go near felicity products again so why do i make these videos actually why do i talk about the felicity it's just for things like this i want you to be informed before you get this battery before you get this life before battery I want you to be informed about these things and to be able to know okay yes is this something that i want to buy is this something that is good enough for me and because i get some of these questions i get messages i get calls i'm also liable to those people i also want you to know that yes this is this is what you're buying and it's it's amazing so i got a, i got a message from someone yesterday and he was actually talking about the charge controller also i've never seen the charge control controller but i've seen pictures i've seen videos of people that installed it but I've never actually put my hands on it so like, it's better I just share this information so that you know I'm more of like a battery person I love batteries I've seen a lot of batteries I don't go near charge controllers I don't even install them so I installed yeah last last three years now so yeah I'm that lost I do more of like the hybrid kind of inverter so I did more of the BE um, sun sink um, thing so I don't use charge controllers so this person got a Felicity charge controller and said I bought a Felicity charge solar charge controller recently and noticed it turns out it turns off at night and comes on in the morning. Is there any way I can keep it continually on? So I messaged someone in Felicity and he, the response was that's how the, basically the charge controllers are. So basically anyone that's going for the Felicity charge controller, basically a norm for you to not see the normal voltage is basically everything that you see in the battery and everything. It's normal for you to not see it at night. So when the sun goes down, the um, display screen basically does not display anything anymore. So that's something you also want to know before you go for the Felicity. If it's something that you can deal with, if it's something that you can um, that you can deal with basically, then you can go for it. It's it's, it's fine but if it's not something that you can deal with basically in the morning when the sun comes back on it's going to kick back on if it's not something that you can deal with yeah you can go for it all right guys i think that's the end of it today cheers